What did they do? What they basically did was they got, they applied for and received uh, taxpayer identification numbers uh, for about 300 people who either didn't exist or who were not eligible to receive tax refunds in the United States. Uh, this happened over about a uh, two and a half, three year period. And what they did was they deposited some 2,760 checks. From the, I, from the U.S. Treasury for tax refunds, none of which they were eligible for, basically. But they did it through uh, a post office that the post office box they had rented in Wallace. Uh, secondary question is why didn't any of the post office employees in Wallace figure out that someone was receiving hundreds Gee, of checks to lots of different people refunds. at the same address? Wow. That's a separate question. Uh, but the checks totaled more than twelve million dollars. Oh my word! And what they did was they were they deposited the checks in a business bank account that the couple had. But they actually got the cash because uh, because uh, Ms. Luna had received the authority to operate a check cashing service. Okay, so we've got all these different uh, questions, and I got to tell you, we're right now in my head. I'm thinking, which question do I ask first? Right, <laughs> this is ripe for it. Um, one presumes. I'll just speak for myself. I presume that because of money laundering rules and and laws and issues of uh, foreign money and things like that, that there's enough banking rules and regulations that something would have been triggered by all of this activity, checks from the same place, from from the federal government, uh, and then withdrawals of cash. It sounds like nothing was triggered at the bank or the post office? Well, no, nothing nothing was triggered. Now, that again, that's the question for the postal employees in Wallace, why no one actually was suspicious about this volume of activity involving all these U.S. Treasury checks coming to this one single post office box in so many different names. So that's that's a separate question. And the U.S. Treasury, nothing was triggered there either, no. that they're sending money repeatedly to the same location? No, nothing was triggered there because the U.S. Treasury essentially is under a lot of pressure to issue income tax refunds fund checks as quickly as possible, no questions asked until after the fact.